Fea Renama opposition movement abandoned its 1992 peace accord with the uh, ruling Frelimo party that ended the country's civil war. Now, this has raised fears of a renewal of conflict in the growing African energy producer. Marcus Weimer, who's a senior risk analyst control, uh, at Control Risk, joins us now for more on the line. Marcus, just taking a look at this potential conflict between these two parties, no doubt this might have a negative impact for energy production in Mozambique. Well, I think, um, first of all, uh, the conflict, it's not very clear what is exactly happening. Um, Renamo has uh, stated that it would, you know, that it has abandoned the peace treaty, but then has reneged on that and has said that they are still bound by the peace treaty. So the kind of information that is coming out of there is not very clear. What is clear, though, is that there is uh, instability in the center of the country in Sofala province, and um, there's a lot of uncertainty, and that is certainly... Um, affecting investors. Now, I do not think that it will affect the export of energy from Mozambique, but uh, there's certainly a lot of uncertainty and concern by investors. Are, you any, are there any concerns in the market, maybe with regard to uh, its impact on foreign direct investment in a country like Mozambique? If the situation is sustained, if this instability continues, then there will be impact on the attractiveness of the country as an investment destination, for sure. Um, and this is uh, a matter of, of how long this goes on, um, how long this uncertainty prevails. Um, I think if, if this goes on longer than in the short term, then certainly there will be some investors who will be considering Mozambique as an investment destination and may decide against it. Marcus, should the uh, negative or the worst happen, what might be the ramifications for an economy like Mozambique, which is so reliant on uh, foreign investment? Well, I think we have to define what the worst is. I do not see Renamo as having the strength or support or capability to mount a serious uh, war challenge. What is happening now is skirmishes um, with, with Renamo engaging in guerrilla-style tactics aimed against the government security services and the government forces trying to fight against the armed wing of Renamo. That is not a sustainable situation, as I said, because Renamo is weakened. So I do not see that the worst could happen. I think we are, in a way, going through the worst at the moment. Mm -hmm. But of course, if for some reason this would escalate, for example, through a regional intervention, then of course the situation would be uh, detrimental and could damage Mozambique as an investment uh, destination. Marcus, let's try and end this off with some good news now, hopefully. Uh, Mozambique has been highlighted to have one of the strongest uh, uh, growth rates on, on the continent, expected to be in at around 7%, and the IMF has actually forecast that even higher at around 8.3% for the next year to come. Uh, your expectations, uh, is, is this sustainable? Can we see it continue? Uh, what's your take for the next year? Well, those estimates and predictions were made before the current situation. Um, Nevertheless, I think Mozambique's prospects in the long term are still very positive. Mozambique has the, is the largest reserve of gas in Africa now, and um, it has significant coal reserves, um, as well as being an energy exporter to the region. So um, I think the prospects for Mozambique in the long term are still bright.